Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming here. Um, let us get started on my topics. Uh, Kano's data operating systems on fair virtual machine. Uh, let us get started from data economy um, with the launch of Faircoin VM. Okay. You know, for the past months, uh, with the launch of Faircoin virtual machines, uh, there are more, more than just storage opportunities uh, worth you can explore in the Faircoin ecosystems. Mm, basically, there is a new economy have just been born, the data economy. This will drive the industry disruption, lots of new business models, and especially with the you know, China government have uh, given many policy support for the Web3 data economy, and the, like you know, the Web3 uh, festival is happening in Hong Kong, it just finished in Hong Kong. So that is a good opportunity with the, uh, fair coin virtual machine launch. And as you know, data is a valuable resource. Data has proven to be a valuable resource. Many success business are built on it. Uh, in 2020, YouTube reaped uh, almost $7 billion from just revenue, ad revenue. And the internet, as we know, it today hosts some of most personal data uh, when pieced together from the fabric of who you are, where you are, where you're from, and where you are going, and whether you like, and what you don't like. But all this data currently is hosted by the central authorities. And uh, you can freely use the platform, but you use the data to exchange the uh, free uh, service, but your data is uh, exchanged as uh, other uh, revenues. And Gartner has predicted that by 2022, information will be a critical size to 90% of enterprise corporate strategies. Data is increasingly uh, acknowledged as a valuable resource, and this present yet another issue organizations are incentivized to collect as much data as possible, but become stopped out by the limits on how they can use it. Okay, let us meet uh, Kenos and the DataDOS stack. Kenos is the data operating system for DataDOS, for Web3 DataDOS. DataDOS stack is an open source data first stack advancing the technology and the adoption of Kenos. Kenos takes the tank of interdependencies in the current state of art and make it more concurrent and reliable and easier to deploy. Basically, Kenos includes these four key uh, components or four uh, important parts. The first one is operating system for Web3 data DOS and combine smart contract and distribute the compute and the few storage market into one package. And the IPLD polytrace for, hand, for handling the large amounts, large amounts of structured data, which could not be available otherwise. And the easy to use front end for creating DOS, managing their data size and running computation over their data. So that is the basic uh, important part of the uh, data operating system. Okay, as you can see here, uh, from the left part is maybe and currently ongoing, there are a lot of data that are building on Faircon VM, but there are many duplicate components and duplicate service and the different, different dependency between the these data DOS. We can synergy all these efforts together to build a data operating systems just like the right part of the diagram. You can see here we, uh, we can have a call service in the data uh, operating systems and the framework, different frameworks for different data loss. And the, all these service and the framework are built on, on Faircon virtual machines. 
The different data dogs could build their dedicated uh, customized business lo logics on this data operating system. Uh, basically, the, if we look into the data, data operating system, there are three different planes. From bottom to up, the first plane is, is a data plane, as you know, Faircoin, IPFS, and other different storage uh, solutions. For example, for example, Fair, Fairproof, uh, yesterday in the data, uh, database panel. All these data uh, solutions are using IPLD data format. So we call all these data storage solutions are data plan. We can leverage the poetry indexing and the other indexing technologies to indexing the big data of, of IPLD data. And in the middle of this, uh, this stack, there is a control plan. The control plan is, as I mentioned before, that is call service and the framework service. The framework uh, includes the contracts and uh, provide the infrastructure to easily create and uh, manage your DAOs and your plugins. And the core primitives, the core primitives are intended to be used by users and uh, implemented by developers and the DAO uh, of the DAO frameworks. And maybe there are other Oracle services could use to bridge uh, external services. And on top of the control plan, that is application plan, you can use the front end to easily create uh, your DAOs, scale your DAOs, launch your DAOs, and deploy your DAOs, data DAOs. And you can also do some extra experimental for data DAOs. Okay, let us look at the data DAO stack. Basically, this is a stack discussed much inside the protocol labs. You can see here is IPLD data layer and the Faircoin VM layer, bridge layer, and the business logic layer. But the most important is our, from bottom to up, the, the CAD is, uh, is a very key, uh, important of data um, identify for, from bottom to up. You can see here, a CAD could be in a storage providers and also could be in the smart contracts and also could, could be Oracle's in uh, Oracle service and uh, other data DAO services. The most important is we, we want to, you know, uh, for Web3 data DAOs, there are many big data of uh, IPLG data, data size. So we want to introduce the poetry for indexing. Poetry basically is a, poss is a possibility uh, search tree, just like a B tree in the traditional database. Uh, we have much discussion in the yesterday's database panel. Um, you can find many materials on the internet about uh, properties and how to combine the content addressable uh, properties with, uh, with indexing uh, properties. I think that is all my introduction about the data operating systems. Any questions? Hi, Doshan. Could you please tell me what's the main key features? Okay. I think the key features here are just put on the slides. Uh -huh. uh, the first one is operating system for Web3 uh, data DOS, dedicated for Web3 data DOS. Uh, that is different with the other DOS, for, for example, for Ethereum. Uh, traditional, not traditional, uh, I mean, just the uh, DAOs, not data DAOs. Uh, the second is combine the smart contract, the distributed compute, and the storage markets together in one, in one package. The third one is IPLD policy for indexing. The third one is uh, easy to use front end to creating and deploy, launch your data DAOs. That's all. Uh, thank you. Thank you.